Hey Leo, what's up? Welcome to Business Travel Dark. Thank you so much for tuning in. Alright, I'm your host, Tisha Yoko. If you guys haven't joined the fan, please go ahead and smash that subscribe button and the bell right next to it. That way you don't miss out on more energy updates from me. Also, if you want to get a personal reading, you can be anonymous or follow me on social media. Go ahead and click on the link tree in the description box down below. Alright, Leo. So let's go ahead and get started. So this is messages from your person. So this could be the main person you're dealing with and the person that's always on your mind, um, somebody that you're with, your crush, whether you're married or in a relationship. So let's go ahead and figure out what they're not telling you or what they want to say, they're too afraid, or what they might end up telling you. So let's see. What is going on? Leo, Sunday, Mars, and Venus. <sighs> what is the first thing I'm going to tell you? They're not saying. Leo, Sunday, Mars, and Venus. What is the first thing I'm not telling you? Okay. We're starting out with the Ace of Cups. Okay, Leo. So. Pretty much right now, we got the Ace of Cups and the Flip. So, this person, <laughs> they have a lot of raw emotions that are spilling out. Um, they're really trying to find it really difficult to express their emotions to you. It's like, one day they're good, one day they're not. And, you know, they're doing their best to really kind of stay afloat. So, they have a lot of things they want to tell you. It's like, they want to release. There's a lot of pressure that's mounting up within them right now. And they're, they're about to explode. So, don't be surprised if you, this person just comes out out of nowhere and starts talking to you about something that has nothing to do with the topic that you guys are discussing send you a letter, an email, a text message, you know, a whole ass scripture, like, you know, or just pulls you to the side and asks you to go somewhere and just wants to talk to you about everything. So it's like they're trying to heal in the dark, but it's like, it, but they're also trying to be practical. So right now this person, like when they talk to you, they really ain't got shit to say, but it's like the bubblegum effect. Like they're really... They want to face their emotions and release, but it's, like, really hard for them right now. So, they're kind of holding on to the past, and it's it's making them just literally emotionally exhausted. So, it's, like, it's sucking up their energy right now. So, be aware they might have some uncontrollable emotions that are popping up here, okay? So, yeah, we have the higher font. So, they're definitely... <laughs> Yeah, definitely, like, in a, a field of just, how do you say this? Spirit, give me some guidance here. Um, they feel like being a rebel. So it's kind of like all the things either you put them through or things that they never said, they want to come out and start saying it now. It's like they want to break free from what's normally been going on. Um they want to challenge you and challenge themselves. They're tired of feeling confined um, by all the rules and things that you probably placed on this relationship or this 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 situation. Or if you're not in a relationship, you know, it could just be like this person, maybe their family or something like has a certain way of how they're supposed to live their life and it's just not going that way and they just kind of want to like break through all of that like so whether you like it or not or whether they like it or not so right now they're questioning everything they're like damn should I do this should I do that how should, you know what I mean like everything is not is what it seems with this person um meaning like how they grew up right so it's like they they have people that expect them to live a certain way. It's just not going that way. And they just kind of want to break free from all of that and just really let you know. You know? Let's get some more. Yeah, because they see, they see that you guys have a lot going on. They see 
a potential. They see that, you know, things are evolving. It's like... Okay, so with whatever's transpiring, this person has a lot of options, just FYI, and it's really hard to choose. So this person may be talking to other people, um, <laughs> or they just, you know, they want to be involved in everything that you do. They have like, they have like a fear of missing out, like FOMO. So they're trying to really weigh the pros and cons with every decision that they make. And they're trying to decide what's emotionally fulfilling to them right now at the time. So they just kind of want to escape. So if this person like you feel that you know they want to go to bed, they want to go to sleep, but they don't talk to you or call you, you're like you're fine with it. But at the same time, it's like, hmm, that's not their regular behavior. There's something going on. Well, that's why. Okay. They're kind of like trying to figure out if they should even commit to anything. They have like a lack of commitment to anything right now. It's like delaying what they really want to do. Let's figure out what else is going on. Why are they not selling anybody else? Someone right in the dinner. It's like, even if it means, like, walking away, that's why you have this path here. Even if it's like they need to walk away from what they have to get a fresh start, you might do that. I don't know. It might come. I'm not saying this is, like, right away. It could be later. Yeah, but three, one. So they're definitely contemplating what's going on. Definitely. It's like they they have this like they're like put uh what's the word they're they're very persistent like they want some type of action to go on they're anticipating something to happen look so if you see the moon in the background oh that could be the sun it's like they see this happiness and they have this vision but it's like they're trying to figure out like. What's going to prepare them for the best? Like, what's their best option? So, they have a lot of challenges they're facing right now. And they're ready to handle them, but... It's like they're very curious as to, like, is there another path for me? Should I go somewhere else? Should I do something else? Or can I even go another route? Okay, so it's like... They want to travel. They feel like they can't. So it's like they have so many different. Let's get some clarity. The Empress. Yeah. So they felt as if they had everything going. So there must have been a situation that occurred to where now they're in their head. Now it's like, oh my God, how's my life going to be with this person? Like, what are we going to do? How's this going to evolve? Oh my God. Like, I have, there's all these expectations that people want me to live up to. Should I even live up to that? Like, I feel like there's a decision or something that happened. It's like they want something, but then they don't want it. Because they feel as if it's going to separate you guys in the long run. Yeah, they feel like it's, it's going to separate. There's something going on. So we have the Emperor card here in the flip. This person is not confident whatsoever. But they're not going to tell you that. So it's like... Somebody's... Dom there's like a dominating force. So... This could be like a thought, some authority figure, or something that happened. Um, father figure. I'm getting. It, they feel powerless, so it's like people are trying to control right now how their life is going. They're all up in their ear right now with how they should live their life, what's going on. So they're like, "Oh my God! Like, let me be free. Let me, let me." Roll out and do what I want to do. And they don't want to bring on the pressure, you know. It's like they don't want to tell you what they're hearing because you're going to run. Or they feel like you are. What else are they not saying to my Leo? Lovers. Yeah. 
It's like they want to be with you. They see everything with you, but it's like there's something there that's not allowing them to fully align with you. There's some imbalance here. There's some kind of resistance here. There's a misalignment. A misalignment with you. It could be their values. They're really realizing maybe either there's some differences with you or maybe differences with how they just want to live their life. And they're like, damn. So it's kind of like as if, you know, they know the honeymoon phase is over. It's like real life kicked in. I got to make some kind of decision on how I want to like progress and, and move further with my life right now. Like, what do I want? You know, what can I do? What are my options? So there's kind of like some imbalance with them right now. And they just need clarity. Yeah, look. Wheel of Fortune in the flip. So it's like... They feel as if there is some kind of... Op they, like, it's like... There's something that's coming to an ending. It's like they're at their final stretch. So they have to really figure out what it is that they want. They're so close to a finish line. There's something that they want to reach. Some kind of goal or something. They really need to concentrate. So I feel as if... There could be a major change that's happening. They're trying to figure out if you, if they want you in their life when this happens or if they want to bring you along or not. Mm. And they may be losing hope. They're feeling a little discouraged. So it's like they want to take some kind of shortcut to figure out what they want to do. It's just not happening. Somebody else could have a lack of closure with the situation, so take it how that resonates as well. They might be holding on to past relationships or past situations, okay? Memories. They're, it's like they're trying to figure out how do you fit in their world, or like what, like what's gonna transpire. I think this person is scared of change. See, we have the four of wands in the flip. It's like they have this vision that they want to be with you, but then at the same token, it's kind of like, damn. You know, there's some instability. There's some uncertainty. Either with, maybe they're with somebody else, or maybe mm, they, they see that with you. It's like, this person might not even want to be home or where they're at. Home is the last place they want to be right now. <laughs> They're really feeling very insecure about this relationship with you or, or somebody else. Okay? It's like communication might be out of sync, but then it's back and then, you know what I mean? I feel it. I'm getting that this could be with another situation. Either they have another situation going on as far as dealing with authority figures. That's one story. Another story is if maybe they're dealing with somebody else. And the other story is they, they don't know what they want to do with a certain situation that happened with you guys. Something must have happened that's major, detrimental, life-changing. Okay, and so it's kind of like they try and talk to you about it and just communication is just like lost with you it's like you're not even you ain't even paying attention or they feel as if you might like they're losing you because you're just like mm, i want to do x y and z what about you they feel that they feel that uncertainty so they're struggling they're really struggling right now it's like what's gonna happen next Yeah, so we have the two of wands here. So this person definitely wants to have some kind of balance. They want to advance, you know. There's like a new world that's calling their name and they know it. That could be with you. It's like they need to step forward and they're really ready to see what's next. But there's something in their path right now. So it's like they, they're trying to make a plan, take some action. They want to progress with you, but they're faced with leaving their comfort zone. And so it's like, damn, should I, like, how do I venture off into this unfamiliar territory? So they see the big picture. They see, like, 
a clear vision with you. Okay. And then we have the three of swords here in the flip. So it's like possibly, you know, they're releasing some kind of pain or they're about to. They're healing their heart. Maybe they broke up with somebody. Maybe they got rid of whoever they're with. They're dealing with somebody that's with somebody else. Um, they're giving themselves time. Or this could also mean that they're ready to kind of let go and move on with whatever situation they have. So that could be a deciding factor as to should I let people run my life and so I can run my own life? Or should I let this person go so I can be with, with you? You know, Leo, or is, there's something going on. It's like a roller coaster of emotions that they're going through right now. It's like they feel numb. They feel kind of like a heartache. Like maybe they feel as if the situation with you and whatever they're going through, they feel as if it should be better with you, but it's not where they want it to be. Okay. So take it out, resonates, guys. Uh, hit the like button and comment down below, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.